For this quest, you essentially have to visit an elemental shrine. So you're gonna find uh, these elemental shrines all around the map. There's at least eight of them. So we're gonna go to this one right here, north of Rebel's Roost. And apparently it's a fire elemental shrine. So let's go ahead. So again, these are going to be part of the new update in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 2, part of the Avatar Last Airbender uh, update. And there's the shrine right there. All you got to do is just visit it. You don't really to do uh, you don't need to do anything else. So let me just do this. Let me just remove the pink. Come on. Here we go. Somebody already landed here. So got to be careful. Here we go. So this is the shrine. Oh, apparently there's a new NPC. And somebody's shooting at me. Here we go. Just going to land here on top. And there it is, just do this and the truth could be the quest. It's as simple as this. For this water chakra quest, it says you have to destroy a cabbage card. Now it doesn't really show you where these cabbage cards are, but uh, there are a couple in uh, uh, Mount Olympus, which is this uh, PUI right here, and in the underworld. These are the ones that I know of for certain. So there should be one around this area, and there should be one around this area right here. We're gonna go to Mount Olympus, and it should be next to the stairs, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm gonna check and see if it is there. If it's not here, then it's gonna be towards the middle. All right, here we go. Just gonna land here. This looks like a cabbage cart. Here we go. Yeah, so this is what it's gonna look like, as you can see. So it has cabbages inside of it, and all you gotta do is just destroy it. So let's do exactly that. We got cabbages out of it. And as you can see, the quest is completed. Again, just in case you don't find this one right here, there should be another one around this area right here. If you don't find one there, you can go ahead to the underworld and there should be one around this area. And always check the entrance of the PUI. That's where you're going to find most of the cabbage cards. Just destroy one of them and that should be the quest. For this quest, you should have to receive passive healing by uh, water bending inside of water. So basically, you just find yourself a water bending mythic right here, as you can see. So once you find yourself one, make sure that you have a uh, missing HP, and then you just simply enter the water while water bending. So make sure you have it equipped, and then you just simply enter the water. And as you can see, you're gonna start like getting HP back. You see that? Slowly getting HP. I think you get five HP per tick. So you just wait until you are fully healed. Once you're free and you, if you still need more HP, you can just jump into uh, like inside of a uh, um, campfire or something like that, or maybe jump off a like a tall uh, tall building, <laughs> and then you just keep healing over and over with the water bending scroll, and that should be the quest. It's as simple as that. For this avatar quest, it says you have to deal a thousand damage to opponents using water bending. So this is the water bending mythic right here. It should be everywhere on the map, but once you find yourself one, all you gotta do is just find yourself some opponents. It does work on NPCs, by the way, so you can use it, for example, on the uh, the uh, forecast tower NPCs that uh, spawn right here. I'm just gonna land over here, and I'm just gonna use the water bending on them. I'm gonna just gonna aim as best as I can. Here we go. There it is. There should be one more, I think. Here we go. Uh, they buffed this item, by the way, so it does deal a bunch of damage. Nice. So, yeah, this is the basic idea, guys. Of course, if you don't find NPCs, you can go ahead and fight players. You can even t take the water bending and go to one of the bosses. Uh, for example, Ares or uh, Zeus right over here. Or uh, Cerberus or even Hades. And you can just keep dealing damage to them since they have a lot of HP. And, yeah, just do that. And the truth could be the quest. For this water chakra quest, it says you have to land from the bus in water. So make sure to literally jump into any body of water once you exit the bus. So you're gonna have to do this in two different games because this quest can only complete can only be completed once you do this twice. So we started here, so we're just gonna land over here on the water. I'm just gonna leg it all the way over there. Doesn't really matter where you land as long as it's water. Also, I would um, I would like avoid the corrupted water around uh, the underworld because I don't know it might get buggy because you know Epic Games. Sometimes the quests work, sometimes they don't really work that well. So I'm just gonna drop here. Don't try to take any shortcuts, don't take any zip lines, don't even don't even touch this rock just to land faster. Make sure the first thing you touch is the water itself. It's a simple quest, uh, like uh, uh, most of the time. So I'm just gonna land here. And there it is. So that's one out of two. And you just have to exit the game and just do it again. And that should be the quest. 
For this quest, you essentially have to restore 500 shields, so that's pretty pretty easy. All you gotta do is just use shield potions or any shield item, for example the chuck splashes, which give you 20 shields per uh, chuck splash, or of course the small shield potions, which give you 25 shield potions until 50, and then you're gonna have to use a uh, big shield potion. Of course, you can either uh, find these randomly by opening chests, or you can go to a mending machine, for example, I'll point out one mending machine right here at Chakras Railways, it's gonna be inside the train station, and you can just go ahead and buy uh, shield potions from there, and then you simply just keep losing a uh, like a shield by fighting either other players or the best way to do it is uh, like after you buy the uh, shield potions here there will be a poseidon npc right over here that you can aggro all you have to do is just hit them once and then just let them hit you back and once you lose a hundred shield again you can just keep uh, getting shields over and over again until you complete it in one game or again you can just do it in uh, over like two or three games just naturally and yeah just do that and that should be the quest